Hi guys and welcome back to the morning of day 5 and we have got a lot of looting to do today. We have got to get tons of wood and hopefully a little bit of cobblestone and some other things just so we can get on and start crafting our horde base. So I'll leave that zombie alone and the first thing that we're going to do is get the main loot that we missed yesterday. So we'll craft some blocks. These will come in useful. I want to test out this chainsaw. Yeah, and it's an absolute beast. What we will be doing is getting a lot of chrysanthemums as well so we can craft some red tea. But we'll get on with looting. We have got a crossbow and a stun button again. Got a bit of shotgun ammo. I think that was the main loot. But what we will do is we did say we did need some cobblestone, so we will get these. Yeah, so today we are mainly going to be trying to get a base up and running for the horde. It's about time we did it. Hey, get down, buddy. I said get down. So let's get this cobblestone. And take that as well. Let's see if there's anybody hiding in here. Well, doesn't seem like it. So I must have just got that main loot from downstairs. Yep, so I think that's that looted. So let's go and put some more trees down and get some more wood because there's a lot of upgrading to be done. I do at some point want to try and get a vehicle as well, even if it's a bicycle. So we will be looking into that a lot later on after we've started upgrading. This is going to be a horde base. So we are going to upgrade all the outside just two blocks up. And hopefully we can get some cobblestone to, I don't know, maybe do one level up on the cobblestone and leave the wood. It's depending on how much we get, to be honest. Hang on, we got a walker. <laughs> nice. Exploding head, love it. So, now that we've upgraded the outside, we'll have to put some doors on. We'll upgrade, upgrade these a couple of times. I don't want to go mad upgrading. Because we do actually want to let them in. So we'll put a door on here. And a door on here. Just to try and hold them back a bit while we plow into them and get the junk turret on the go. So we'll be doing the block trick in front of the door just to hold them back. Let's clear this area. So, fill these in. Because what I'm thinking is this can be the last room we can go up the top we'll put some blocks down and go up the top so we'll get rid of this if we fail we can come up here and just rain fire down on them I'll put a little walkway here that means I can put the junk turret up there and we can see what's going on in the room as well. Put in a, like a temporary staircase that we can pick up for when the horde comes in. Yeah, something like that. 
So we can just jump up here, take the blocks behind us, and get up top. But we have done enough upgrading for today. We do want to go to the trader and get a buried treasure quest. Because we do need some clay for the forge. It's just so we can start getting some forge going. But what we will do is get as much wood as we can. And what we might as well do is drop a few trees down as well. I do want to keep most of the trees and put them by our crafting base. But we really should be replanting as we've taken them as well. There we go, that's that done. And another one. So, let's go to the trader. Pick up a quest. Hand in the ones that we did yesterday. And see if we can get some nice rewards. Yep, what do you wipe that smirk off your face? 350 Doing coin for that. Make us pals. Oh. Got it. Just an iron helmet, and we've already got better, so we'll take the iron helmet and sell it back to him. And 350 coin for the other one as well, which is very good. Let's have a look at what he's selling as well. We'll sell this. And we've got an anvil, so we will buy that and put it in the forge. I don't think there's anything else. Get rid of this. Yeah, sell that baton as well. It's not really worth selling that junk turret. We might as well keep it. Get rid of that. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, so maybe you what jobs try have you got? Shamway. <laughs> oh, brilliant! We have got a buried supplies, and it's not s not so far away. So we'll love. we'll get that done. Also get some clay on the way and other things. Like I say, we need some clay for the forge. We do need some iron as well. So, oh, nearly missed this. But we'll dig this up. Obviously, getting loads of iron. If we do see any more of, we will get them. I have been crafting some spikes as well. I forgot to put the points in, so what we want to be doing, like I say, is crafting a vehicle of some kind, because it's taken us ages to get everywhere. I would like to skip straight to the mini bike, but if we had to craft the bicycle, we can craft the bike. We'll have a look at that a lot later on. Let's just spend the points ready. Might as well get these as well. Hang on. Got a crawler. Oh, that was easy enough. Let's get back to the buried treasure supply thing. And we're here. Let's have a look on the map, see if we're close. Yeah, we're right on top of it. So back up a little bit and let's start digging. Oh god, it's marvellous when you really want to dig, but I've got it straight away. Oh god, I forgot the spawning zombies. Hang on, I can't get out. Oh, got to dig our way out. Oh dear, this is a nightmare. This, I was stunned. Can't get out. That could have been a lot worse than what it was. God damn, missed with a spear again. I'm panicking. Don't panic. Right. That's him down. He's hit me again. Take that, buddy. Get down. Better eat and drink some stuff so we can heal up a little bit. Right, beans though we need some clay, we might as well just dig a bit. I'm also getting a bit of sand as well, so that's always good. Might as well heal up as well. Oh, 
Right, so we've got a little bit of clay. We could we could actually dig there all day, to be honest, for how much we need, but here we go. No panicking this time. And still missed. I think I'm trying too hard. Being a try hard, trying to get the headshots. Let's go back to the trader and... No, I didn't miss anything out of that. Let's go back to the trader and finish this quest. And what we'll have to do is get more wood. I'll what tell you what we forgot to do. Oh, want? some leather gloves. We haven't got no gloves. So, yeah, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Any other jobs? Oh, they're absolute. They're over a kilometre away, all of them. Never mind. No. What I did say is we have forgot to loot this place as well. Let's just see if... Yep, we'll wear them. Lovely jubbly. Throw them away. Anything else we can throw away? Nope. So, yeah, I forgot to loot this place, so we will have a look. Take that. We've got a working workbench. We've got a working forge as well. We'll take that recipe. Thank you very much. And we've got a working camp station as well. Everything's working here, so... If we can't craft our own... Get our own workbench up and running, we can just come here and make the bike. Or the motorbike, depending on what we've already got. But, let's start heading back. Chopping trees as we go. Hang on, we've got a Royal Marine coming. Straight in the middle of the chest. Take that loot bag. We have got a bit of food. It'll always come in handy. Crafting more spikes. Getting ready for when we get back to base. We said we was gonna pick up loads of chrys chrysanthemums. And get this iron as well. Like I say, after getting that dysentery yesterday, all that diarrhea. We might as well craft red tea. Let's pick this up. Oh, we have got a blunderbuss and some ammo. We'll take that to base and use it on the horde night. No need to use it now. So let's go back to the horde base. What we'll do, we'll put a couple of blocks down here because we're going to surround the building with spikes. But first of all, We'll drop some stuff off ready for Horde Night. Oh, we need to make a storage chest. Make that. We'll get back crafting them spikes a little bit later on. Put the chest down up here because this is going to be our last resort area. We'll repair the turret. Ready for Horde Night, of course. Drop that blunderbuss in there and crossbows and stuff. Making it a bit lighter for ourselves as well. Now we are heading back to the crafting base. Just wanted to see if we got any iron from that, which we didn't. Drop this stuff off. Keep, we'll keep them with us. Right, we'll put the anvil in. The forge. Yep. That's good. What we'll do is because we picked up them chrysanthemums, we will craft some red tea. Craft as many as we can. There we go. Get them cooking down. And we'll drop them in there just so we can craft more. We'd better drop some wood in as well because I'm always using it up at the moment, so we'll do that. What we want is the blun uh, the junk turret, I should say, the junk turret ammo. And we'll get back to crafting some more spikes. As many as we can. Yep. We'll plant these as well because we're right next to the base. Just so we've got a source of wood for a bit later on 
doesn't take very long for these to grow into full trees anyway so yeah we'll get these down we can always harvest them for more and more wood which is right next to the base as well which is good so back to the wood collecting I think that should be enough. We'll get all these spikes surrounding the building, giving us a li little bit more defence. Just finishing these off at the front now. We do actually want to cut. Uh, we do actually want to make some more spikes for on the porch. Plants some more trees as well. So I do want to fill this area in with spikes. But that's all we've got for now. Yep, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good, but I could do with one more row of spikes there. I think this is looking a lot better. We've got to put some torches in here because it's going to be pitch black. So we'll have to make some torches. Let's get a bit more wood. We're pushing the time now because it's getting getting very close to 10 o'clock. We do need the wood so we'll do that. So what we've got to do tonight is craft some more spikes. Hopefully get some more junk tourist ammo. And I think we will be ready to go for tomorrow. We will have to upgrade the base with a little bit of cobblestone for the horde. Stop them breaking through so easily. But yeah, we'll just get it just get as much wood as we can at the moment. So tomorrow we'll head head on over to the horde base and upgrade it a little bit but then we are free to do whatever we want being attacked by a zombie let's leg it inside the base the junk turret should still be down so he can help us out with this one here she comes so let's just chuck the spear for a good measure get down yep so that's what we'll do first thing in the morning upgrade the horde base with a little bit of cobblestone and we can go out adventuring maybe pick up a quest or two get them done but what we could do be doing is clearing out the northeast section of this town that we're in so we'll eat up and drink up get ready for tomorrow and as always guys thanks for tuning in and i will see you in the next one take care everybody